Joris Peters voor Meet Music Magazine op de messen. En we zijn nu op de Akai stand. En uh, your name is? Andy Mac. Oké, okay, Andy Mac. Thanks yeah, for uh, the presentation. So okay. So, MPC Renaissance. So, the difference between this particular machine and all the other MPCs is this now interacts inside your DAW. So the, the whole MPC workflow is still based from hardware, but it's being driven by the engine of the computer. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, there's two different ways you can work. You can either work from the screen um, and do all your editing, or you can do it from the visual of the computer. So yeah, you have, have the best of both worlds for both types of users. So we simply, to get sounds in, we can either go to our browser and import samples in, or we can go to the browser here and import them in that way. So we have two options. Um, once the samples are in, we can set a tempo. And go. If we don't like what we did, we can erase it. we can do which enhances the performance we can go to program edit and we now have our four layers we can go to our kick drum we can go to sample I can now add my layers inside the program so I can go okay what do I want to put on here here we go I can put like a hi-hat on there if I want I can control the volume I can control the tuning so it's now got a nice hat underneath it um, or I could take another sample, load that onto there, take one here. So I, I have the choice to do what I want there. Um, we can go to filters as well, so I can go to filter, and now I can actually scroll through my different filters here. So go down to a low pass. Again, it's all controlled from the controller. Um, also, I've got uh, four inserts here as well, which means that I can insert up to four VSTs or AUs, RTAS. So I can put I can put a compressor, EQ, whatever I want onto that one pad, and mm -hmm. I can do that on every pad. Okay. Every single pad. Um, other things that are really cool. If I'm in main window. I'm in MPC mode at the moment. If I go to track two. I can now select a, a different mode. I can come out of MPC mode and go to plugin. So now I can open up my virtual instruments. Mm -hmm. So I might have a, a Sonavox or a, a Nexus or a Gladiator, anything like that. And I can physically open my virtual instrument inside my window. I can have a MIDI keyboard plugged into the back and I can now start doing my chords and my strings or whatever I want to do, mm -hmm. all inside the MPC environment. Okay. Um, so it keeps it very much inside the box. I can um, I can edit my notes very simply as well. I can go to here and say, okay, I want to copy and paste these, so I can just physically go here, copy and paste. Um, I can sample directly into the software, or I can resample. Um, but this is a really nice feature. If I go to sample edit right what I can do here is take a sample and chop it up okay so I can go chop and it will now let me chop in by thresholds or by regions or by BPM but the great thing is if I do it if I do the chop 
and I want to hear what the chop's going to sound like on my, on my pads, I can do this audition. It now sends them to the pad so I can, I can pre-audition. If I don't like that, I can change it to maybe 16. So I can now pre-audition my loop. Okay. Um, and I can still do that whilst the, the song's playing. So whilst the song's playing, I can, I can play with all my regions. And then I can make a, then I can convert and make a program. Go back into my signature window. And now I've got all my slices. So that's a really powerful feature. Great. Um, and then one last thing is once I've finished my arrangement, I can then go export, audio mix down, separate tracks, wave 24 bit, 48k, and send it to a folder with all my separate tracks and then mix it in Pro Tools or Logic or whatever I want to do. So it's fully integrated. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot.